let's get inside UGTS Professional again and let's check out some tools that you may want to use for working on the maps on the layer zero that is the base of UGTS mission planning tools in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the distance measures area measurement tools and the visibility options the visibility range tool that you may use you may want to use inside UGTS these are tools that works that work on the map so there is no mission planning yet inside the software these are tools that you are you have available here on the left side on the screen once you open up the the main window the workspace of the software without any mission inside it because they refer to the map so the map is georeferenced it's uh, it's it has got measures it has got coordinates and you can work with them right just like as you may want to do inside google maps or some other software like that so the first uh, number one tool that i want to show you is the distant measurement tool so you you are able to measure distance that's quite simple L left click on the tool and then you gotta double click on the point that will compose kind of a, a polyline that it's the reference the, the reference object for distant measures so left click on the first one left click on the other one and you can keep going on until you finish your distant measures so it doesn't have to be a close polyline when you have finished you have some information here so there's the total length of the, this polyline then there's the length up to selected point so you may click every point that is inside this polyline of the each vertex vertex of this polyline if you click this vertex for example you got the length up to selected point so it's made up of this number one number two and number three sector segment of this polyline for each segment you got information about the distance 45 450 meters you can switch between metrical or imperial system as you may know i'm italian so i use the metrical system there's the there's an angle in, in this case it's 36 degrees and it's measured study from the north direction in clockwise direction so in this this way for instance this one is 245 degrees so you gotta imagine this line that is going through to the north and the angle is measured starting from here all the way here clockwise to to this segment to this sector you can uh, choose between um, the elevation reference elevation between ground or mean sea level but i'm going to show you some more details rather prior to getting deep inside the elevation reference yes because each of these point is uh, you can move this point and moving this point you can move it up or down so you can raise up the elevation of this point and the elevation is written here 96 97.19 meters you can go up as you want and each of these point has got a three-dimensional position and a two-dimensional projection on the 2d surface reference surface so you can move the position of the the two-dimensional position left clicking on the projection of the point and moving all the way all around when you want to do when you want to go then you can move the elevation you can adjust the elevation of the point when you raise the point up from the ground you may notice that here the distance uh, there's another row there's another information about the distance there's the horizontal distance that is the distance between the two points the two project the two points projections on the 2d surface then there's the absolute distance that the number one is 232 two meters that's the three-dimensional distance i think that is quite i think that is quite useful this tool because it allows you to uh, detach the point from the surface and uh, get rid of the fact that you have to stay on the surface you don't have to stay in the sur on the surface you may use this tool to raise up the elevation of the point and have the software calculate the distance in the three-dimensional uh, three space um, I'm going to show you something about the 
reference of the altitude now you can choose between ground or mean sea level but due to the fact that i'm at the sea level i'm gonna uh, move in another part of this area and see what happens when i switch between ground and mean sea level so i'm gonna delete this this uh, polyline and uh, i've just hit this uh, trash uh, this, this uh, recycle bin button and uh, the, the information has gone i'm gonna move here in this Apuanian Alps, these are where the white marbles is uh, is extracted from the rocks um, and I'm gonna draw again um, a polyline for distant measures so I still have active the, the tool if I want to deactivate just left click here and the tool is being deactivated I want to activate it now uh, so left click for a very short polyline so I'm gonna click here I'm gonna raise up the point here and now I wanna ask between I wanna I wanna, I wanna wanna show you between ground altitude or mean sea level reference altitude in this case ground altitude is selected so the altitude of this point and you have to uh, pay attention to this part this this sphere here the, the top part of this kind of stick it's 100 100 meters more or less but if i switch to mean sea level the altitude has changed of course it's more than 1000 meters because we are on the mountain if there's some point that you want to get rid of just click on it and remove and the others are left on the ground but the point that you didn't want to do the point that you you want to get rid of has gone there's another options for distant measures and it's kind of a custom tool quite nice um, you can play with it you have to and this one it's the modifier you can draw um, kind of a curve not a polyline by the the vertexes of the segment by it but you you may click and drag for draw a, a curve line and the software UGCS will turn this curve line into a polyline a simplified polyline that has got all the the information and you can do everything you may do and just seen here just before in the classic distance measure but for activating it you have to click on distance measurement then click on modifier left click on the first point and drag all around where you want to draw your curve when you finish not instagram actually when you finish just release the bottom and uh, the software transform the curve into a polyline you can see it's a simplified polyline that has got all the characteristics that all the features that the the classic polyline has got uh, if you want to draw another one you can left click here or I'm sorry left click here and uh, automatically the software will join the last point of the previous polyline the previous segment with the first point of the new segment because the distant measures tools has to be kind of um, a continue to you have to 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 keep on going with distant measures you cannot uh, measure multiple distances um, if you want to do that you have to get rid of this and start with it with, a, with another one with a new one after that there's the the area measurement tool which is here and it's simple double click on the first point you have to draw a polygon not a polyline but a polygon uh, after the second point that you define on the map the third point will be automatically uh, defined will automatically define a polygon so third point is connected to the very first one so and this will go on for every other points of the of this polygon you got information here area is 35 hectares if your area is um, quite small the measurement unit measures will be square meters i think that in the imperial system will be square feet 
or, uh, or something else I don't know but you can switch between one or the other to check uh, according to your preferences another one thing with the area measurement tools is that point that define the vertex of the polygon cannot be moved in elevation so area is measured uh, ex exclusively on the surface on the two-dimensional surface so you can move whatever you want the point but they're gonna move in the 2d dimension they're not gonna raise up as we've seen in the distant measurement tool and that, next I'm gonna I want to show you the visibility range tool that it's quite nice and it allows you to see what's the visibility um, what is the visibility that you may have in a certain point of the map so you have to double click on a point in which you want to measure the visibility and you define your position your two-dimensional position you can raise up your position so you can raise up up to whatever you want to do you want to, whenever you want to go in this case 150 meters then you have to define the radius of a circle that is going to be used that is going to use for estimating the visibility in this case i'm going to use um, 1000 meters then click on calculate and the software will calculate and will draw on the map uh, a circle that has got 1000 meter radius and you can check if there are some obstacle between this point that is your point of view and the edge of this circle it's quite uh, here it's quite simple there's no obstacles but if we move into into the mountains let's see what happens here um, you can see that it's quite different from from the surface where we were before I'm gonna check again the visibility range I'm gonna put my point of view here double click here I'm gonna raise maybe a little bit less rather than the previous example 50 meters you can also write here the precise altitude that you want to reach with, with your point of view then I'm gonna lower down a little bit the radius maybe 500 meters then I ask the software for the calculate it calculates the visibility and see that things are much more different here rather than before because we got mountains that are obstacle to visibility so there's the visibility that's where I can see from this point of view all around where I am if I lower down this point of view of course the visibility will change and it will be less rather than before so I'm gonna go to 25 meters from the ground again you can choose between mean sea level or the ground i'm gonna go five, 25 meters from the ground and see say calculate the visibility has changed and it's less than before if i go to the to five meters from the ground and i calculate again it's even less so it's that's a nice tool for estimating the visibility and it's a nice tool to estimate what to to judge what are the ability that you can have in seeing your drones and seeing everything around you when you are on the field that's a nice tool i think that this tool is are are quite useful when you wanna when you are planning a mission and you are judging the if a mission could be done or not or if there are some issues or if could be tricky or not so that's our these are some tools that you can use for whatever you want and UGCS Pro uh, allows you to use them basing on the maps that is got inside I hope you enjoy this video uh, if you want to have some more information about me uh, you can go to www.metricaltalks.com I'm gonna see you in the next video and thanks for watching Ciao.